once again, I'm back at Shield Drive in a spot that I've been digging before. Been uh, the last couple times I've been digging in here actually, because people have been discarding stuff, and some stuff gets through, and I found some pretty nice stuff. But it looks like somebody's been here uh, recently, and actually they cleared out a bunch of stuff. There was a rock ledge that used to be right here, and there was a bunch of rock back there that wasn't cleared out. But now, as you can see, it's been cleared out a lot more. And I just kind of reached in and grabbed like a handful of material just to see. And I pulled out this guy. Pretty decent little uh, dog tooth crystal. Just a slight bit of damage right there where I think there was another uh, crystal, but nice little example of the dog tooth calcite. Now you have to be careful with stuff like this. Like this is undercutting the uh, road cut a lot. I'll just show you where the that's the um, highway above us. So you can just see like the road cut, like the hole in the road cut is pretty close to it. So you, with road cuts, you gotta be very cognizant of how far you go and how much you do because there have been places that have been cut, uh, shut down just because people have undercut too much. I would quote unquote, if I were to quote uh, Lord of the Rings, dug too greedily. <laughs> Um, but, so you just gotta be very careful. I'm just gonna kinda dig around in the discarded material at the bottom here. Cause if there's stuff like that, I'm sure there's some other nice, uh, specimens. Um, and then I think I'm gonna keep digging here. I was having some good success the last couple times down here. Found a couple really nice, uh, specimens with good clarity and stuff. So if it ain't broke, uh, you know, don't fix it. This specimen cleaned up nicely. Nice whole large crystal sitting on a bed of smaller crystals. Actually, I've checked out this stuff underneath a microscope, and what it is is it's a lot smaller calcite crystals mixed in with the, whatever the dark stuff is. Some people say... Uh, Graphite, some people say hydrocarbons. I'm not 100% sure. What I'm doing in here is I'm just kind of grabbing handfuls of material, kind of searching it out and uh, looking for, you can see there's also, there's already some like calcite bits on there. Checking all the kind of the dog tooth shapes and then seeing if there's anything interesting, for example, that nice little golden crystal right there. That's what I'm after. Some nice clear golden calcite uh, crystals. That one right there is a good example. It's small, but it's got good color and it looks like it'll have good clarity. And I'm just doing the same. I'm just kind of scraping through there, looking, and you can kind of see the matrix that this calcite is in. Let's see somebody's actually, I think somebody's been up there in that pocket up there. You can see, yeah, there's a pocket up there and there's a bunch of crystals. Um, but I'm looking for the stuff with nice clarity. And, you know, of course, big crystals. I won't turn down some bigger dog tooth crystals, even if they have, a lot of them tend to have this kind of gray inclusions. I've been told it's graphite by some people. So that's what I'm gonna call it for now until I'm told otherwise. But yeah, it's, that's just what I'm doing. Scraping through kind of what's at the bottom of this pit and just looking for a calcite. And you can see I've been pulling out a couple specimens. If I find anything really super spectacular, I'll definitely show you guys. It's probably been about a half an hour of digging. And this is what I've kind of found so far, plus some stuff that I've thrown on my, actually this is my previous discard pile, so whoever came here later didn't like like any of the stuff I left behind. But I'm leaving anything that I think is semi-nice and nice enough for, you know, the hen peckers, as some of us like to call them, the, the collectors who, they don't have lots of time or energy, so they just kind of peck around and find a couple nice things and go on their way, which is perfectly fine if that's how you rock hound, that's how you rock hound. Um, so I just leave 
a little offering for the hen peckers so that they can have a nice time at the road and they don't have to stick their heads down into these uh, somewhat sketchy uh, places. But I've also just pulled out this guy. Look at that. Nice little cluster of a pretty clear dog tooth. There's just a bit of damage on this one. And just me, yeah, just a bit of damage on that one, but all together, this is a lovely little cluster of uh, crystals. Definitely do, uh, quite happy with this little find. But this is, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. These nice little clusters of uh, somewhat larger, clearer uh, dog tooths. Here we have that nice cluster all cleaned up. It does have a bit of damage on both tips, but overall, it's still quite a nice specimen. And it's not too etched or weathered, which is sometimes what can happen with the specimens at Shield Drive. I'm starting to do pretty well, as you can see. I'm actually using, I've got a bit of a, a, a hand rake, and that just allows me to extend my reach a bit. I'm just using that to kind of scrape out whatever's at the bottom and bring it towards me and this piece rolled out as I was scraping. Nice little cluster of uh, calcites. I am definitely getting into more untouched territory. I have a bunch of stuff that I've pulled out. And some good calcites with some iridescence on them. This piece is a great example. You can see that iridescence on the left side. Caused by the uh, inclusions of the iron oxides. Pulled out this big guy. With uh, some very nice uh, iridescence. Kind of shows up golden here, but in the light there's also rainbows. So a lovely cluster of uh, calcites. But yeah, that uh, hand rake is helping out a lot because I'm reaching farther than I think most people have gone uh, or willing to go and I'm pulling out some nice stuff so I'm pretty happy with what I'm finding. Now this piece had a lot more um, iridescent um, iron staining on it when I first collected it but it was uh, surface level staining so it got cleaned off the second I try did even the slightest amount of rinsing. And there are only some spots where the iron staining penetrated deep enough into the specimen. But this specimen is quite interesting. It's a large plate with a bunch of clusters of smaller kind of tabular dog tooth crystals. The crystals aren't too large, but still lovely clusters with lots of interesting shapes and formations and some interesting inclusions and colorations. Overall, a pretty interesting and cool piece to have found. I have cleared out this front section pretty well and found some interesting stuff. My uh, freebies pile over there is growing, but found some interesting stuff. Couple plates of smaller calcites, but some nice stuff. This one's interesting because it's got some oxidization trapped in there, so there's a, it's hard to tell on camera, but there's a couple sections where there's a bit of like um, a iridescent sheen to them. I don't know if that, that one's coming home with me, but Here's another one I just pulled out. It's on kind of that really crumbly kind of gray matrix. It's got a couple nice crystals perched on there. We've got a whole mix of stuff. Some larger crystals and then some smaller crystals. I'll be picking through this all at the end and taking home uh, just what I want and leaving behind whatever I deem uh, not worth it because I've been here before a couple times now 
and I found some nice pieces so I'm really just looking for pieces that are more unique than what I found before and some nice larger crystals and some nice uh, crystal plates hopefully. Another plate of calcite rolled out as I was scraping there. This one's got a bit of damage on some of the tips so I might not take it home or if I do take it home I'll uh, try and use some acid to kind of uh, get rid of the bruising at least. But it's got some decent sized crystals on there so it might be a candidate for going home with me. I thought I'd show you folks this large plate of calcite that I found. I'm going to take it back. It's just all small stuff and the the matrix tends to be uh, pretty crumbly. At least in this this uh, area, the matrix on the back is very soft and fragile and just a big piece like this would not survive uh, cleaning and prepping. So I'm just going to leave it here, but I thought it was cool enough to show you folks. I did dig in the discard pile again. I didn't find too much even though I did went down. And you can see actually there's some kind of pocket or void down there. People were more interested in here so they buried whatever that void was. But I think that's gonna be it for me today. I'm gonna pack up the stuff I wanna take. As you can see, I did pretty well. I'm not gonna take all of it. I'm gonna leave a, a, a good chunk of stuff behind, but I'm pretty happy with how I did today. And uh, yeah, if I uh, if I uh, don't see you guys again, if I don't have anything else to show you, you guys have a uh, good uh, day. This is a pretty cool piece. It's a cluster of bunch of decent sized calcite crystals and these crystals have some very interesting coloration got some iron inclusions iron oxide inclusions but then they've also got some of the gray material so it makes for a very interesting little combo and makes for an interesting looking specimen I do like how with shield drive there can be some pretty interesting growths where the calcite crystals kind of just all spread out in different directions and and then some specimens the crystals all seem to grow in a certain direction so there's there's some chaotic specimens like this one where it just it's like a porcupine of calcite crystals and then you've got some other ones that are a lot more regular I feel like the camera doesn't do this one justice. Kind of all the tiny, smaller calcite crystals are kind of lost in the mass. But then you've got this really nice, large, kind of central cluster of larger, kind of light yellow dog tooth crystals. And I just like that combination. Kind of perched on the smaller ones with some interesting, um, this is kind of like, uh, what do you call it? This is contact uh, points where it was contact with the matrix, but so that's not damage. That's just contact points. But yeah, this specimen has got some very interesting features. This one I would also call kind of a porcupine. You've got some uh, larger clusters of smaller crystals, but then you've also got some larger crystals perched on top of those clusters some great light yellow coloration and iron inclusions you can see there's some interesting white material in the back maybe barite or older uh, growth of uh, calcite that has been heavily weathered it's hard to tell but another great little cluster specimen so here's another cluster plate the crystals aren't super big but they are still pretty interesting and they're kind of all a lot of them have kind of grown mass together uh the matrix here um this is a stabilized matrix because the matrix is actually quite soft with these larger pieces actually um in the description below i'll put a link to a video where i showed how i stabilized the matrix um of these shield drive specimens and this was just one of them this is another lovely plate of calcite crystals that I pulled out. And just the 
there, there was probably some slight slight weathering or etching from groundwater but overall the uh, these crystals are quite nice to look at another cluster plate mass this one's pretty crazy all of this is just a large mass of many small calcite crystals growing together you can see the larger ones kind of spiking off like I said they're like porcupines and they just kind of mass together and form these large cluster plates this one there's not a lot of matrix left on the back only a little bit had to be stabilized but this piece is still very wonderful and just the size of this cluster and how far it grew off of the original matrix it's at least a couple centimeters of just dog tooth crystals formed together into one singular mass, so to say. But I would say that's that's kind of um, on par for what I found in that hole with the plates. Kind of all the crystals kind of grew together and fused together into these large crystal masses, which I think is pretty cool, and I like them. All the specimens I showed to you guys today are all in my uh, display case or display cases. I put them on display because I find them quite cool to look at and I'm happy with their looks. So they deserve a spot in my display case. We have gotten to the end of this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps out my channel. And also in the comments below, please do... Uh, let me know which of uh, the finds I showed off in the video you like the most. That's always a good way to um, engage with you guys. And I always am interested to see what other people find interesting or cool. So please do uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And please, folks, just have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.